Now we are going to discuss SLE, a connective tissue disease. Systemic lupus erythematosus is an autoimmune disease in which the immune system attacks its own cells of the body. SLE can affect multiple components of the immune system, which majorly include complement system, T special cells, and cytokine production. If SLE can affect other organs of the body, it includes cardiovascular system, pulmonary system, hematological system, musculoskeletal system, kidneys, and skin. SLE patients showing up the flare of remission and elapsing episode of the disease. If we look into the prevalence of the disease, females are having more SLE as compared to males, but in children, males are two to three times more having SLE as compared to females, and in children, SLE is showing more severe symptoms. Now, if we look into the patient presentation, patient came up with a butterfly rash on the face, unusual hair loss, mystery, skin rash, oral ulcers, joint pain, and swelling, and low WBC count. Now, the signs and symptoms of SLE. Major signs and symptoms patients normally have fever, fatigue, weight loss, arthritis, rash, and renal disease, unusual hair loss, and swell abdominal pain. Now, in the system, the cardiovascular system, it appears as endocarditis, atherosclerosis, inflammation of fibrous tracts. In pulmonary system, the symptoms are like chest pain, difficulty in breathing, and cough. In musculoskeletal system, pain, swollen joints, and arthritic changes are reported. In blood, anemia, and high blood pressure is reported. If disease affects the kidney, the disease manifests itself as lupus nephritis. American College of Rheumatology in 1997 revised the criteria for diagnosis of SLE. Now we have a mnemonic to remember the diagnostic criteria of SLE, which is so brain MD. It stands for serositis, which is inflammation of serous membrane in cardiovascular system as pericarditis and inflammatory system as pleuritis. O for oral ulcers, A for arthritis, P for photos and state. B for blood disorder, R for renal involvement, A for anti nuclear antibodies, I for immunological serum, in which antibodies like anti SM, anti double stranded DNA, anti phospholipid antibodies are recorded, and for neurological symptoms, which are like headache and confusion, and for malar rash and a discord rash. If we see a patient having a rash on the cheeks or the nose, we misconcept as butterfly rash, but it may be a discoid rash, which is also on the cheek and the nose. Discoid lupus erythema is limited to the skin, and in 10% of the patient with SLE, they are having that discoid lupus erythema. The malar rash is on the malar eminences, which is on the cheekbone and the nasal bridge, but it resembles like a butterfly. That's why we call it as a butterfly rash, but it's paired nasal level coat, which differentiate it from the recessi, which has a similar appearance. In the discoid lupus erythema, we notice that the coin shaped scaly plaques are formed. There is a depressed central scaring with increased pigment around the edges and it can occur anywhere in the body. To diagnose a patient with SLE, patient must have at least four symptoms out of these 11. For the clinical test, we have done renal biopsy. For the cutaneous examination, uh, we done it for the acute or chronic lupus, nasal or oral ulcers. For the inflammatory synovitis, we must be noticed in more than two joints or the more than two dental joints with only sickness is observed. Organ test done for the renal, neurological, or hematological findings. Laboratory tests for the immunological findings have been done to find out at least one of these antibodies, like anti nuclear antibodies, anti cardiolipid antibodies, anti phospholipid, anti double stranded DNA. If the patient is diagnosed with SLE, we are guided patient to maintain a good sleep hygiene, maintaining a stress reduction technique, doing exercise regularly, and photo protection, which is very important. Patient should avoid direct exposure with the sun. Thank you.